mentioned, here he is on this night or any other. He's one of the best heavyweights in the world, the former champion, Stipe Miocic. How about the wins list? Francis Ngannou Jr., Dos Santos, Alistair Overeem, and he's looking to reel in another big one here tonight. DC. And every one of those guys was him defending the championship, John. That goes to tell you the murderer's road that he had to go through to hold on to that UFC heavyweight championship. A phenomenal boxer, a phenomenal wrestler, great cardio in the new breed of heavyweights that has shot to the top of the world, Steve Bamiel. Amazing to think where he was after his first UFC main event against Stefan Struve in 2012. Has been largely perfect ever since. All eyes on Steve Bay yet again. Enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, he is ready to go. So are we for our main event. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Stipe Miocic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. All right, early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Stipe Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something. The moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. Big shot to the head. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Nice loop. Great defensive skills. He walked that punch. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. A beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, and the high kick lands. Another huge kick is true. He got him hurt bad here. 
All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice punch by Jones. Thirty total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. He did a great job of blocking that punch. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Nice combination for Miocic upstairs. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Final seconds of the round. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Five minutes in the books. All right, here we go, folks. Round two, Johnny Bones Jones Ready. and Stipe Miocic. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, a big right hand. Body shot there. Oh. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closer. Oh, oh, oh he hurt again! Overhand right, swing and a miss. Miocic is oh. Well, both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's going to take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. Doctor corrals the referee. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now, but certainly that swelling bears watching as we move forward. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see... Nice counter left there. Oh, oh, right hand. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Miocic's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he left that overhand right, he 
he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, big left hook there. Missed with that attempt. Well, I don't think his corner is gonna step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He oh. oh, he got him again. I need you to go forward. Round three next. Uh. All right, heading back to the corner, and Stipe's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. Well, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. That shot landed perfect. Miocic is an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man, no. Oh! That's it. John Jones with a huge win tonight. Oh, boy. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. All right, what a highlight here tonight. John Jones, your winner by KO. Some are surprised to learn that John Jones has double-digit decision wins in the UFC. No scorecards needed tonight. Well, that's because he has this ability. When he is on his game, he can do this to the best fighters in the world. So it does get a bit surprising when you hear decision, but even in those decisions, he looks dominant. Tonight he was dominant, but he got the finish that he needed so badly. And of course, no scorecards needed. Big knockout for the former light heavyweight champion, John Jones.